Hey guys, thanks for checking out Rocky Mountain Backcountry again. We're out here checking out the uh, the new square drop trailer, the new Overland trailer. So we're going to do another one take video. So check it out. Hope you like it. I'm just kind of out here in the garage. You can see I don't have it on its chassis yet. But there's a couple of things that I wanted to share with you guys. So I'm going to open this up. And I'm going to show you guys how I wired all of the electrical in and how I can run it off of the solar battery charger. The battery storage thing, whatever it is. Anyway, so this is the Lion Energy Safari LT. And I've got that wired in to run everything on the trailer i've got the usb socket switch here this is for the lights there you go that is for the voltmeter so i can check the voltage on the battery this is a spare there's nothing connected to that and then this is for the power socket the 12 volt power socket so <clears throat> you guys this came off of amazon i'm going to do all this one-handed this is one of those. That's what that is right there. You can see it comes with this whole wiring harness. What I had to do is I had to take some of these off of the switches. So you can see how that comes off of the switch right there. And I took the positive off of this side and put a heat shrink connector on there and connected that like that and I did that on all of those and I did it to the light that's up here so the next thing this is my fuse panel that I got right there this is how it comes from Amazon I'm just going to show you guys really quick it comes with fuses I got multiples I got multiples of these because I'm going to build another trailer as soon as I'm done with this one. But there's the instructions. There's the fuses. Here is the fuse panel itself. Hold on just a second. I'll open it up. Okay, got that opened up. Let's dump it out. It comes with labels so that you can stick those on your panel along here so you can see what each of these fuses go to comes with look quality control <laughs> quality control pass yes pass quality control anyway this is the fuse panel and the front of it comes off comes with the screws to attach it you attach your positive up here, your negative down here from the battery. Then you have your negative terminals here and positive terminals on each side. This one is a 12 circuit unit and it is way overkill for this trailer. But there's lots of extra stuff if somebody wants to put more lights on the outside, if somebody wants to put a car stereo in here. I don't know, whatever else. Now, the other cool thing that I got for you guys to show you is the way that I hooked up the Lion Energy. So, this came off of Amazon as well. This is just a 12 volt uh, plug. And what I did is, I'm going to take this off for you. I just have wired into the negative and the positive terminals on there comes in plugs right in to the 12 volt outlet on the Lion Energy. How cool is that? So this unit can run on either the Lion Energy box or a regular deep cycle battery or any whatever 12 volt battery you want. All of that runs through the walls. It's all wired internally, and then up here is where I will hook in to the battery. I'm going to do a tongue box on the front here with a battery in it. 
but I'm also going to have a switch on there so that I can switch it off and when I'm running on this because there's going to be a little electrical conflict there if I'm running this and this is feeding back into that I don't know if that will work or if it will cause some electrical issues but anyway you guys that is a quick rundown on the overland trailer build so anyway let's see what else have i done i done anything else yeah let me show you this i got the i got some carpet <laughs> climbing through here check this out you guys I also got these from the old Amazon. Everything comes from Amazon, right? But those little buttons there, uh, those switches, I think I got 20 of them for 12 bucks. You guys, it's awesome. Anyway, I did put some carpet down here in the cupboard. And let's see, I think I showed you that all that was all wired up. That controls the 12 volt outlet and the USB ports. So that's pretty cool and anyway woo! thanks for checking out rocky mountain backcountry you guys we'll catch you on the next one stay tuned for more uh overland trailer build and uh like if you do and subscribe if you haven't let's go